In this video, you're going to learn the easy way to convert hexadecimal numbers into octal numbers. Hexadecimal numbers are also known as base 16 numbers, and octal numbers are also known as base 8 numbers. If you'd like to learn how to convert the other way around from octal to hexadecimal, click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen, or check the links in the video description. We'll start with a hexadecimal number, D9. And this is just one we chose as two digits. You could do this technique with any number of digits. The easiest way is to first convert it to binary and then convert the binary into an octal number. Let's start with this, D9 in hexadecimal. The first thing we do is break the number into individual digits. In this case, we've got two of them. So we have D and 9. Hexadecimal digits have 16 possibilities. They range from 0 to F, whereas binary digits only have two possibilities, 0 and 1. This means for each hexadecimal digit, we're going to need up to four binary digits. Let's look at a table for a four-digit binary number. This would be the ones place, this would be the twos place, this would be the fours place, and this would be the eights place. So we need one of these tables for each of our hexadecimal digits. Let's look at this table that compares decimal, or base 10, which is what we're used to using, with hexadecimal, which is base 16. They're the same up to 9, but after that, hexadecimal starts using letters all the way through F. Here we have a D in hexadecimal, which is equivalent to 1, 3 in decimal. We need to figure out which of these numbers we need to add together to make 13. We can do that with an 8, a 4, and a 1. We need 1 8, 1 4, 0 2s, and 1 1. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Now let's do the same thing with this table. We've got a digit 9 in hexadecimal, and that's going to be the same in decimal. To get to 9, we add 8 and 1. We need 1, 8, 0, 4s, 0, 2s, and 1, 1. We've got all of our hexadecimal digits, each converted to four-digit binary numbers. Now we're going to take these individual binary numbers and push them together in one long binary number. The D9 in base 16 that we started with is now converted to 11011001 in binary. Now we need to take this binary number and convert it to octal. With octal, there are a total of eight digits, zero through seven. And we compare it to binary, which has two digits, zero and one. For each octal number, we're going to need up to three binary digits to represent the same value. We're going to break up this long binary number into groups of three digit binary numbers and then convert those to octal. We have a space left here because it was an eight digit number, so we couldn't break it perfectly up into threes. So we're just going to fill in any extra spaces with zeros. So now we've got three three-digit binary numbers. For a three-digit binary number, this will be the ones place, this will be the twos place, and then this will be the fours place. So let's figure out what the value of this number is in octal. So we've got zero fours, one two, and one one. So two plus one is three. Here we have zero fours, one two, and 1, 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And finally, here we have 0, 4s, 0, 2s, and 1, 1, which gives us 1. We'll combine these three octal digits into one number. Now we have the octal number 3, 3, 1. The original hexadecimal we started out with, D9, has now been converted into 3, 3, 1 in octal. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below.
To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.